Bet the show on the road. Hey, I get the show on the road. What's up, everybody? Come to you live in effect, like always. What's up, everybody? Come to my kitchen, to your kitchen, or to my kitchen, to your couch, my kitchen, to your living room, basement, whatever y'all in. Somebody house, whatever you're doing. I'm glad y'all tuning in, casting in. Uh, tonight's dinner, I am preparing. You ready for it? I am cooking um, white cheddar and broccoli, rice and roni, pasta rice and roni. And I got my own chicken breast, tenderloin, it's got it going on. To mix, mix and match, do some things, put something together. You know what I'm saying? How I be doing my meals, I be putting stuff together, getting it in. So yeah, I forget this in. See that chicken on there, I ain't gonna have it on the side. I'm gonna mix it in together. So. Hook it up, y'all. I hope everybody had a good day today. Everybody feeling good on this home day, Wednesday. I didn't put the eye on already. Put the heat on low. Show y'all what I do so y'all know. I put the heat on low for to get this uh clinked and um chop up this chicken real quick. I get this cooking because you already know the pasta ain't really gonna take that long near the chicken. So this is about a good 20 minute meal, you guys. If um, when it comes down to preparation and getting stuff situated, I know how to prepare these meals. I'm trying to do nothing too long because you know you come home late with no excuses with Strider Fitness, right? You try to come home, you know, you come home late, you don't try to necessarily, you know what I'm saying? See what I'm doing. I'm gonna stick it together. Wash it out the fat. No need to can't do can't jump it in and let hold y'all down. Hold y'all down. Cause you know you want to try to come home at a late start sometime and you just don't have time to be time to prepare a, a long meal, right? So busting this out little twenty minute meal ain't gonna take long. So that's the good thing about that. So all I'm doing is, I'm cleaning the chicken, I'm cutting the chicken, like the, the, the rest of the fat that's, that's still on there. I'm gonna come that way, y'all, right, okay, okay. Just rinsing it off. So yeah, I got my bowl right here. So yeah, so what I do is just cut the, cut the rest off. Like, you know, maybe a little fat, a little skin. You might not want on there, you might be, Say some extra veins or something like little tentacles or something on there. You might just want to snip on off, cut on off. Or some people don't even care for all that. They just keep it moving. Don't have to dice it up. But right now, I'm going to dice this up because it's going in this pasta. So, I'm going to season it as I go when I hit the pan. But right now, like I said, I'm just cutting the unnecessariness that I don't want on my chicken. But back to y'all. I hope y'all had, a, like I said, a good uh, good Wednesday, middle of the week. The weekend is almost here. You have to go over that stretch today. We made it. So, what's tomorrow? Thursday. So, what are we going to do tomorrow, you guys? Talk to me. What we got to do tomorrow, y'all? I'm going to put in my little box. What's going on? While well, I'm cooking, y'all, white cheddar. Okay, I'm gonna chicken and pasta. I'm gonna hurt chicken and pasta, guys. Okay. okay, my bad, y'all. Yeah, okay. Alright, make sure I got that locked. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Hope everybody's, once again, having a good day. I know I am. I'm, I'm chilling so cool, y'all. I can't complain. I'm blessed. I'm good health. No problems, no complications. So, to each his own. I hope everybody else is having a good prospering and good harvest season at the moment. I hope everybody's doing good, you know. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Happy late Thanksgiving, everybody. If I ain't tell y'all, happy late Thanksgiving. If y'all didn't know, happy belated birthday to me. And, uh... 
I hope y'all ready for Christmas. It's almost here. It's around the corner. It's around the corner, y'all. Y'all ready for it? If y'all not, y'all better get ready. Christmas around the corner. I know y'all kids want a million one things. I know y'all probably want a million one things too. All right, y'all. You know, this pack came by itself. It's our two for Came in here like with 10, 10 strips. Came in here with 10 strips. Good little moderate size. Not too bad, not too shabby. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, y'all? Come into my kitchen to your kitchen, y'all. Concentrate right now. I don't know if some of y'all do this or not. You know, clean out chicken or cut through or be picky how you want. You know how your chicken to look. Comment below if y'all picky or not. Alright, so for y'all, that's what I got. So that's the residue. I don't want this good chicken. Those two extra three little pieces I don't want. So now I'm finna get the skillet going. Right over there. Skillet going, put a little olive oil and my seasonings on the side as well. Olive oil and my seasonings. Seasons we are using tonight, you guys. Of course, I always tell y'all I use my my Greek seasoning. I'll be telling y'all about this. Of course, cedar salt, Lord. It don't matter what season you guys use as in brand, but I use cedar salt. I use garlic powder. Of course. Black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna use this black pepper. Black pepper. Since I want a little, a little seasoning, you know, my my chicken tastes like something. I want my pasta to taste like something. I you also use um, old garlic memories as well. So. Let's go in there as well, y'all. As you know, how much oil you use? You use two tablespoons. You don't need that much oil. That was three. But of course, to each his own. How people like it. If I cut up my good old chicken now, you guys. Cut over the skillet. Like again, it's on lit love, but low medium heat. It's on four. It don't matter like how you cut it, like people might think it's a certain way. <laughs> you might have a diagonal or something like that. It just all depends on you guys. Like we'll talk. It don't have to be in a certain angle, certain way. It's to your profession how you like it, you know? Still cutting up some chicken before I get the seasoning. The faster you go, the faster you be able to season it. 
So make sure you don't cut yourself. Do this at home. <laughs> Professionals only with the speed. Or if you have a knife, slices. What's up, everybody? I got doing? I hope everybody doing good once again. Hope I, how's everybody doing doing this COVID situation? How's everybody doing? Y'all holding up? Family doing good? Guys doing good? How's things holding up for everybody? Said moderation it depends on you how how big the family is or how big you you know gonna eat it up tonight it depends so portion wise it's up to you Last but not least, my last chicken breast strip I am going to cut up. So, don't forget the seasoning, huh? I want y'all to see how I look. I'm put the rest of the chicken breast up. Use for later. The rest of the residue, throw it away. Yeah, clean up the house yourself. I always tell you guys, trying to clean up the house yourselves. Ah. Mm. So you won't leave yourself a, 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 a big mess. You know what I'm saying? At the end, how you doing? Always leave yourself at the uh, uh, a big mess at the at the end. So now. All right. That's that. All right, so now, I already know I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit, of course, but after I season it out. I use this up. I know I have the, the regular garlic, but I wanted to use it. Look, corner up as well while I was up. So, with that being said, I wanted to onion some onion powder. You can use onion powder too if y'all want to use onion powder. Throw a little more a little flavor on there. Much I said about a good. See this? About a good. That's about a good. That's about three, three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. It depends on how much garlic you like to eat. It's never wrong eating a lot of garlic. Never nothing wrong eating a lot of garlic. As long as you got something to bag it up. Bag you up later. Yeah. Like a 
turn it up now. I'm turning off from low, low medium heat. I'm gonna put it on medium high heat now. I'm gonna put it between six to seven. So I'm gonna bring it up to about yeah, six to seven. Bring it up a little bit, put a little heat on this. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit, mix the oil on top for all the way around. So I get a little, get the flavor and the seasoning all the way around as well, so I can top it off. You know what I'm saying? So I can top it off. Residue on on. I don't think if I need more seasoning salt, I'm gonna throw a little bit more. That's a little bit. I'm now salt to eat, so I throw this a little bit in there. I'm gonna throw a little bit more of olive oil and let this cook another do its thing. Alright, once again, put the spinning rounds, stir it up, and let y'all see what's going on, y'all. Lid on. Right, I'm gonna try to see what it is now, y'all. Yeah. Alright, this is how it looks so far, y'all. So this is what's going on at the season that's marinating, it's doing its thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and top it off. It's gonna take no probably no more than 10-15 minutes to let that cook on out. This shouldn't take that long to cook. Get that in. Go sit down. Go sit down. Thank you. Alright. So now. Moving on to the next. Like I said, I was doing my rice roni, my pasta rice roni. You see that? White cheddar and broccoli. So I'm go ahead and do that. So uh, reading off the stretches, making a home style and easy in three easy steps. You see what I'm saying? Not a problem. All right, so we're going to need uh, two tablespoons of butter or margarine. And it's going to need uh, one and a half cup of water and two thirds of milk. So i to get that going real quick. Of course, I got guys know your measurements you good if you don't get y'all y'all measuring cups measuring cups littles spoons whatever you use get it get it out all right so back to the water so how much water a cup and a cup and a half Turn this on medium heat by five. Okay. A cup and a half on that, on the water. Okay. Of course, what we do, as season wise, me, I do, I throw a little salt in there. The salt I use. It's pink salt. Just a little bit. Get the, get the boil going. Get the boil going in the water. Get a little extra, get a little flavor as well in the water. Get the water going. So that's why we throw salt in there as well. That's if you want to. Just if you want to, I'm not telling you recommend you have to if you want to. But that's what I'm doing tonight with my meal. So, all right, so this water for the boil up. Get us on the medium heat. Put on five six. Uh, all right. So we did the water. So we're gonna do our butter and our milk. So I'm get the milk out. Say two thirds. Two thirds of milk. I got a stick of butter. If you have the, the scoop as well, two thirds, you know how to measure it out. You melt it, do it like that. But on this behalf, I got the stick. So you got the measurements already on here to let you know 
How much to cut off? Okay, it said two thirds, you guys. Cooked. Okay. Two sticks equals one cup. Damn. They didn't even tell you on here, y'all. Two sticks equals one cup. Five tablespoons equal a third of a cup. Four tablespoons equal a fourth of a cup. Sneeze. Whew. So two thirds is two tablespoons. Okay. Throw a little block on there. So we'll let that melt, let that do that thing, let that do that thing. Bang. You say you don't want this rice? You don't want this rice? Please, thank you. So how, how y'all gonna reheat these whole bones? Y'all know how to do that? Yeah. You do? Alright. You know what? These are far. What is it? Yeah. Yes, yes. That is correct. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Casting, casting. Coming from Stride to Fitness with no excuses. Coming in, waiting on this butter to melt. Check this out, y'all. Waiting on that butter to melt, doing this thing. This chicken. Let that finish cooking on out. Stir that out. Put it going. Before you put this pasta on it. do it. Do it. <clears throat> so, let's get it to the ball. Yeah, to get to a little ball, then we'll dump the noodles, is, is what it's recommended. Take nine minutes to let it boil, it says. Okay, then slowly stir in the pasta. Return to a boil. Reduce the heat to medium. Ten minutes, to, say, seven to nine minutes to cook. The noodles, after you throw the noodles in. Man, I did that already. They make it complicated. So, P. Gang, so it's saying reduce the heat to medium. So, basically, what it do is at number one, it said you get a saucepan, bring water, butter, or margarine, then slowly stir it in the pot with your pasta. All right, return to a boil. Then put it on medium heat, reduce it, then stir it, then okay. Then, then you add the milk. Turn the air fryer on all that, yeah. So, you, it, this, this, no, we're not gonna do that. I do it all in one wop, one wop. So you cook all that to one. That's doing too much. Throw these noodles in now, so I got a little bowl going. Yeah. So when the most of the water is absorbed. 
butter and milk and seasoning. We turn to boil and then cook for two more minutes. So I let the noodles boil. Let the noodles boil for about said nine minutes. Then after you let the boil the noodles boil for nine minutes, absorb up some of the the water. The water is absorbed. Then add the seasoning in there. Then add some milk to thicken. So, hmm. But me, I'm gonna hook it up. Throw some cheese on there. I'm gonna get some recommendations on. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hook it up like I like. You know? Hook it up like I like. There you go. Let me know. Chicken come along or not? Let me know. Chicken come along. Like some, I don't know. Got a little bit longer to go. Stir up these noodles. I need to put a lid on this one too. Long. to crack it just a little bit so while it's cooking all right chicken almost done you got that long just want to put a little chart char on it
It's up to you if you want to put a timer on as well, you guys. Just to let you guys know. It's cool to put a timer on. If you don't don't keep up with timing and feel like, dang, it said on the box such such minutes. Or oh, sometimes if you're a professional, you might know what you're doing. You're like, nah, I got it. I know 10 minutes going to be around. It looks about done. You go by sight. You know what I'm saying? Then more power to you. Pretty good. Eating some cheese cubes. And some dark chocolate pretzels. And then a little snack before dinner, right? It's getting there, you guys. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, man. And who got plans, man? Who got plans out here? Are people still out here? Or are people still getting out? Are people still quarantining? What are everybody doing? What are you doing while you quarantine? That's the question. Good question. Little cheese, you guys. Piece of wood. Right. Get that little joy. Chaw, chaw. So basically the chicken is done, you guys. The chicken is done. All right now I'm just waiting on these pasta noodles to get in, get done. To y'all, you already know it's getting colder. Winter time, yes, dryness. Dryness will occur in the winter. Try to stay moisturized as possible. I can say this enough. We, you know, we are very bad for having dry hands, dry feet, maybe dry face. I have to go moisturize your body. I understand some people don't want to moisturize because they feel like they got on pants or shirts. And I have to go you're covering up the ash. You guys didn't realize I can't cover up the ass. You guys need to. You'll be over there in the corner itching and scratching. And you want to know why? Because one, maybe dirty. Or two, you need to put some lotion on, some moisturizer. Because it all depends on what what you use for your um, body wash for your body as well, too, y'all. What harsh chemicals you guys use. Start using natural stuff. Start reading the ingredients on your uh, moisturizer or any um, anything you actually use, you guys. Start reading your labels. Like, Read your labels, for real. Until the most of the water is absorbed. So I'm gonna let it absorb a little bit more, you guys. See that? 
a little bit more than that. So I'm, I'm letting it absorb a little bit more, right? Say a little bit more before I start adding this pack of seasoning in now. I guess so I can feel, taste the full flavor to the flavor, you know? Megolians. What you looking at, player? Looking like dinner time. My dog, Sheba. She be ready and on it at clockwork to dust to dawn. That's my baby. She, I got a pit bull. She's something else, boy. Stick to my hip like a pager. Hit her. Yeah. But that's Daddy Girl though. I love her. Mm -hmm. I'm just ready to transfer this chicken on over there to that pot, y'all. Ready to transfer it over. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. A couple more minutes, guys. A couple more minutes. Let's get in there, though. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Tell me, guys, what you guys eating tonight? So I'm just showing you guys how to make a quick meal for under under ten bucks, and show you guys how to do a meal under. 30 minutes. So, yeah. Strive the fitness with no excuses. So, we are here for you. Lifestyle changes will occur if you let us in with you. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Get out. Not even calling. Get out of here. She's ready to get down and dirty. But yes, I'm, uh, I got broccoli as well. In case you didn't know, I got broccoli as well. I'm gonna throw that in there. Sauce it up. Sauce it up. Once I'm gonna hook it up. Sauce it up. Then hook it up. Sauce it up. Then you hook it up. Alright. Getting there, it's getting there. Noodles about, about that, y'all. Yeah, it's ready. It exhort, you think? Yeah, it's ready, bro. The heat came in. The heat came in. So, let me take this off the eye. Open up this package. Throw this seasoning in here. in there as well. Alfredo sauce. But this is supposed to be the Alfredo sauce. So right. coming out good. No complaints here. Let me try to see what we get. Of course. That's how I look. Turn off the heat. Go 
if it puts some stuff in there, which is the chicken and the broccoli, I gotta expand it. So that's just what I bought the sauce. So let's say a meal under 10 bucks. You act in some type of way. Right. I'll be thinking I'll be cutting them all right. Cut them all right. Put it to the side, put that up. And the trash you don't want that piece. Clean up as you go. So that's what I'm doing. Clean up as you go. That is what I am doing. Whee! Up. Just get rid of my mess. Like I said, clean up my mess up. Like I said, we're gonna be designed. as you want how saucy you want you know so it's up to your discretion make sure you got the right the right kind 
I'm not overdoing it. Like I said, it's all up to you. So I'm gonna put on a little medium heat, medium high heat to cook it up just a little bit, get a little temperature on it. Add the cheese in it as well. Up to your description on how much cheese you want in here. The cheese you want, but you know, all depend on your moderation on what you need. A couple, a couple sprinkles, a couple handfuls. I like big handfuls. There you go. Some good pinch pulls. Other strength of what? Like a little sauce. Like a little sauce. Could have put some shrimps in here too, y'all. I could have hooked it up for real. Chicken and shrimp. But nah, I ain't gonna do that. So, I'm going to get off the mic, get off the cast, get off the video, get off the vlog. I'm not on the vlog, I'm on the vlog. So, I'll let you guys see. That's going. I'm done. The meals for the prepare on this plate, for the eat good. So, casting off. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Like, subscribe. Strider Fitness. Go on my YouTube page as well, you guys. Like, subscribe. Go on our healthy food and fitness with Strive to Fitness with no excuses. Hey, come to our classes we'll be having on Monday through Thursdays. Come on now. Monday and Wednesdays, we got our Zumba. Tuesday and Thursday, we got our hip hop classes. Just to get in. Come on, you guys. Come on, six to seven. Let's get it. I'll talk to you guys later. Casting off. Eat this food. <laughs> Mess with us. <laughs>